Welcome to Madison City Channel's Know Your Candidates interviews, co-sponsored by the League of Women Voters of Dane County. I'm your interviewer, Louise Robbins, and I would like to introduce Satya Rhodes Conway, running for Madison Mayor. As we begin, I'd like you to give an opening statement as to the educational, vocational, and civic experiences you have, which qualify you for this po office, and why you're running for mayor. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here and I appreciate your time and thanks to everybody watching. My name is Satya Rhodes Conway and I'm running for mayor because everyone in Madison should have the opportunity to thrive. I moved to Madison almost 20 years ago now, um, came for an internship and knew within a month that I never wanted to leave. Uh, Madison has an incredible quality of life for most people. Um, it's a beautiful city, lots of assets. Um, I've been here ever since. Um, my partner Amy and I live in the Eakin Park neighborhood with our dog Leo and three cats. Um, but I'm very aware that not everyone has the same opportunities that I've had here in Madison. So I was able to find a great place to live and buy a house and get great jobs. But that's not available to everyone, whether they've grown up here or whether they, like me, have moved here more recently. Um, we need to work on our affordable housing market. We need to provide rapid transit, and we need to work on the deep racial disparities that Madison faces. Um, these challenges aren't unique to Madison, nor are they unsolvable. Um, I think it's time for us to stop talking about things and start working on them. Um, and I believe that I have the experience to do that. I have worked for the past 13 years at UW-Madison as the director of the Mayor's Innovation Project, which is a national learning network for mayors. So I answer questions from mayors every day. Um, I have experience on the city council where I served for six years, and I'm on the Madison Food Policy Council now. I'm a collaborative leader. I uh, have the political courage necessary to tackle our challenges, um, and I believe that my experience and vision make me the best choice for the next mayor of Madison. Lack of affordable housing and the pressure it brings to the issue of homelessness is a chronic problem that Madison cannot seem to get ahead of. What new ideas can you advance to help address this issue? Thank you for asking that question because I do think that affordable housing is one of the most critical issues facing Madison. I would like to expand the use of the Affordable Housing Trust Fund to include uh, purchase and rehab of properties so that the city can spur more construction of affordable housing, but so we can also protect and preserve existing affordable housing. I also think that we need to look at the use of more creative solutions to create affordable housing, such as land trusts and co-ops, um, which are both things that are used here in Madison, but at a relatively small scale. And other cities have had success uh, working with them at a bigger scale. There has been discussion of the policies and procedures of the Madison Police Department. What is your perspective on whether any changes are needed in ways Madison police operate in our community? I've carefully read the OIR report and I'm looking forward to the report from the city's task force on police policy and procedure. Um, I think that the majority of the recommendations from the OIR report should be implemented, and I know many of them have been already. I'm particularly interested in the recommendations around use of force and around accountability um, for the top leadership of the department. And I think that we could do uh, a lot of good work if we follow the recommendations of that report. Many residents perceive Madison to be a divided city, one in which people of color are less likely to thrive than are whites. Do you share this perception? And if so, what would you do to address the division? I think that's absolutely true. I mean, the data are pretty clear that we have deep disparities in outcomes along the lines of race in Madison. And I think that we need to continue to use a racial equity lens in everything we do in the city. We've done some good work making sure that staff are trained um, in the use of a, a racial equity and social justice tool, but we need to be looking at our budget, we need to be looking at our economic development, we need to be looking at our transit system um, through the lens of racial equity so that we can reverse the historic uh, institutional and systemic impacts of racism and start to uh, make sure that people of color in this community really do have equal access to opportunity. What are the issues that need to be considered as tax incremental financing districts are reconceptualized? 
Uh, I think there's a number of things we need to look at um, while continuing to look at whether uh, a subsidy is actually needed for a development, which should be probably first and foremost. We should also be looking at how sustainable is the development? Is it uh, contributing to global warming? Can it help with our stormwater issues? Um, who is hired to work on or in the development? Can we make sure that those jobs are going to local folks who need them? Um, and then how does the development benefit the community at large? And I think that if we look to the things that other cities are doing to ensure community benefits out of development, I think we could learn a lot in leveraging our TIF dollars to bring be more benefits to the community. With the growth and spread of population in Dane County and Madison, what are the issues that most require cooperation with the Dane County Executive and Board? Well, the top two things that come to mind are on uh, the lakes, both the lake levels and lake water quality, and then on our transit system and our transportation system more generally. Um, I don't think we can afford as a region to think about these issues, frankly, any of the issues we've talked about, as stopping at the borders of the city. We have to think of them as regional issues. And part of what I bring to the office of mayor is a very collaborative leadership style. I have good relationships already with folks in the county, the county executive and folks on the county board. I have good relationships with people on the council um, and also in the governments of surrounding municipalities. And I think it's important for us to have strong relationships with all of those because they will be the key to taking a truly regional approach to transportation, for example, or to housing or to any environmental issues that we deal with. What would you like to say to the viewing audience as we complete this interview? I would ask folks to remember to vote, um, certainly on February 19th, but you can start voting as early as today um, at the clerk's office or at your local library. Um, and I hope that in this short time, I've earned your vote. Um, I want to say again that I believe that my experience on the city council and on city committees, but also as the managing director of the Mayor's Innovation Project, working with cities all across the country on policy issues, makes me qualified to be mayor here. And I believe that my vision of creating a Madison where everyone has the opportunity to thrive um, makes me stand out on the ballot this spring. And I hope that I have earned your vote. If you'd like to learn more about me, please visit my website, satyaformadison.com. That's S-A-T-Y-A for Madison.com. And thanks so much for watching. I want to thank Satya Rhodes Conway for speaking with us and the viewing audience for taking the time to know your candidates. As with every election, please vote. On behalf of Madison City Channel and the League of Women Voters of Dane County, I thank you for joining us.